Timegate Studios was founded in 1998, so we're going on about 10 years of development as an independent development studio. The company was originally founded to work on an RTS title called Kohan Immortal Sovereigns. And um, since then we've produced four RTS games and then up until about a, a few years ago we noticed that the passion of the studio kind of shifted. What was everyone playing during lunch and after work? And when the question kind of came up, well, what game do we want to make next? You know, the answers that were coming forward were, let's make a first-person shooter, a, a sci-fi first-person shooter. Uh, you know, since then we decided to, to jump from that genre into the FPS space. Since finishing up the Fear franchise, we've now been working on Section 8. So today we're taking a look at a pre-alpha build of Section 8, which is a sci-fi first-person shooter that's set in the distant future. So this is a completely original universe that we're crafting here. The creative team's influences uh, in creating the Section 8 universe were um, a lot of sci-fi from the 80s and 70s, like Alien. We love Blade Runner, stuff like that, where it, it had a gravitas, it had a, a reality, a believability that you could latch on to. We have a little bit of a, an Eastern influence, um, which has gotten popular in the States and, and has sort of a very streamlined, modern look, uh, which, was, which is what we wanted to bring to a lot of our powered armor and vehicles. But also modern day warfare, designs for weapons, designs for vehicles, um, and even going back to this, you know, to like um, earlier wars like World War II, we've even got those influences kind of coming in. So quite a few areas all mixed in together. And when we combine that together, that's what we wanted to get with Section 8, is, is have this believability, but that has a style of its own. So one of the biggest features in Section 8 is the burn-in feature. Most first-person shooters tend to stick with a mechanic where players either spawn in at random locations that are predefined. In Section 8, one of the big things we wanted to do was give the players complete freedom where they could spawn in anywhere on the map. Uh, this feature actually took us a while to figure out. So this is the, uh, the top level. Um, we call this the spawn tab. And that, or we call this all the tack net, and this is where you pick where you want to drop. Um, if you watch in the background, it's really subtle though with this background, you can actually see some of the other players, like right there, a little streak went in. Um, and if I decide to drop in, so that's the playable map right there. The rest of it is all non-playable. Um, but you know, it has to exist for you to uh, get that impression that, wow, you're starting really high up. Because you really are starting high up, we're not faking that. Why should players be putting up with a, a 30 second timer that says, you're not allowed to have fun for the next 29 seconds and why don't you stare at your corpse while you're doing it? Uh, there's got to be better ways to do that. And that's very analogous to what we first did in the RTS space with, with Kohan. We challenged some of those conventions of resource management and things that just weren't fun to the player. And now we're taking that same step in the first person shooter genre and uh, I think really crafting a, a, an innovative and, and fresh new title as a result. The arms started this war, but section eight is going to finish it.